And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. I am shocked that they would go for it there. Talk about a gutty call. But that's all about having faith in your offensive line, and they come through there on fourth down. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. And they'll run it here. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back with more NFC playoff action after this. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin the road to the upcoming Super Bowl. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that is going to set up a third and one. Now they try the right side here. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and 10. Now a handoff looking right. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of a yard. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded at the 20. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Now they try the right side here. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The second of our two games here on this wild card Saturday is at halftime. We'll get back to you two in just a second. But first, let's take a look ahead to Sunday's action in the NFC. A 3-6 battle that ought to be a good one. And it's going to be one heck of a battle that for sure. Try the ground game here with the running back. 
Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. He'll look to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. They'll look to throw, and this is going to be incomplete. This one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Ah! Right back to him on first down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And on the ground they go with a running back. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And they'll go to the ground attack here. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. They're going to try and throw. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. But well, all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on fourth. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And they'll run it here. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. He's had a big game tonight, and while no one's going to be overly concerned about that last play, you also know that the offense coordinator does not want to see that happen again. They want to get back to doing what they've been doing all game long. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. He'll drop to throw. And able to find Green. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And that one blown up quickly now in Tampa. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. They'll drop the throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And not much... Turn there, he'll take it only up to the... Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. Standing just about on his own goal line. Look at the dance of the juke! 21 yards, well done on the return. And the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. 
And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Looking to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent game, but Still all first for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a solid pickup of 11, and it's second down. They'll set up to throw. That is caught at the 7. And now they're in the hurry up. No, 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 no. Jack, Patriot, Patriot. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll give it to him up the middle. He will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. 
That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way, so it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, Detroit! hope the Detroit! quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> Some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. Back to throw now on second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It's a gain of seven. And that'll lead here to a third down. Back to throw. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. All right, here we go. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw here on first down. And his throw is incomplete. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll set up a throw. And the third down pass falls incomplete. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. He'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Buccaneers have it. Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling.